gliding dragon. Let's just name it first. Oh. Let me just name it again. The gliding dragon. So we'll delete the cat costume and then go to choose a sprite. Now we'll choose a dragon. You can search this. Here you go, a dragon. So first let's go to costumes. You know what costumes are. And see this flip horizontal and flip vertical are right just right next to delete of him. See, there and there. let's take a cl more closer look. Okay, now let's click on this option. You can see it changes. Now we're going to do with this also as well. See, there it has got three costumes: one dragon A, dragon two, and dragon three. You can rename these costumes. You know. Now let's decrease the size. Let's put it 80. Alright, 80 equal seems enough. Now we'll put it here and let's take a nice background. Okay. And let's see if it. Alright, just randomly. Alright. Yeah. Now let's go to backdrops. Let's choose woods. See this? The first option. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I mistakenly put it, clicked on the save option. Done. Why is that save option still there? But now it's okay. It was not there. I was just joking. Alright. The project gets um, no, uh, the project gets saved by itself. Alright. Now let's code. We go to events and click on the first option when green flag clicked. So this means when we click this green flag it will it will run the code only. When you click the green flag. Alright. Now let's go to control. Let's go to control and take the forever block. block. So this is a loop. What is a loop? A loop you uh, you can repeat. But a, a loop is called when you repeat a code multiple times. You can do any. So... So, so, I took this forever loop and forever means it will keep on going until you stop it. Forever. More than a hundred years. Until you stop it, it will keep working. Then we are going to go to motion and take. If on edge bounce, here we get. And this means if it's gone onto the edge, one, two, three, four, this and this, it will actually bounce like, like, um, let's see example. Like if this is the edge and this is the dragon, it will slowly move here. Then if it touches it, it will turn go and go distorts and it will actually be upside down. Then, uh, then it will go here and it will be uh, again upside down. Like this. And it will, con it will be continuously. But for that we need to move it. Right? We will go to... Okay. Now you have to tell me where you will find the glide one second to random position block. In which... Hmm. Motion, look, sound, events, control, sensing, operator, variables, my blocks. Which, obviously, it can't be variables of my, my blocks. Alright. Can it be operators? We'll have to check it out. Right. 
let's go to operators mm, plus minus what is that um, dash this thing you can see on the keyboard all right pick random nope let's see join apple banana <laughs> all right so it can't be here let's go to sensei can you see me just tell me can you just see the i mean the block all right let's go up to the motions oh there it is here we get it means it will glide to a, a random position random position mean anywhere you can't control and it's different from set x and y the, these option but not that all right now for the last one we'll go to look and go to next costume in the previous video i had told you about costumes right so i think you know about costumes right now so now let's try and run the code what do you think it will work or not i think it will work all right it's bleeding fire woohoo it's upside down now it changes into this look how perfectly it's gliding i hope you can see it let's take a closer view it can go anywhere you see i'm not putting pushing any button let's stick at a keyboard and let's see. all right and i'm not pushing any button right here my board hands all right so this game is here. this is an example in the future game we'll learn more we, we in the future readers we'll do more advanced levels of scratch and this game is also used in many games such as escape from the dragon and and the dragon attacking city okay and and in the, and in the future we have thought about doing dragon uh, escape from the dragon basically we we'll have a human and a dragon the human needs to escape from the dragon that's sure now let's let me tell you about this the otter so it it has got for it it can swim about on 14 kilometers per hour the heaviest is the sea otter and the longest is the giant otter thank you and you can see this book it's called Randy's wonderful bat and other story. This is a collection of stories, and the author's name is Ruskin Bond. See, the it's about cricket, my favorite sport, as well, and many other things. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share with your friends and family. And if you want to see. more of my videos all you have to do is click on that red button with a subscribe word written on it until the next video bye